Okay, just going to do a little quick update on the folding bush saw. Um, this is a case that I made, and it's actually made out of. Um, get back into frame, I guess. I uh, bought a uh, an old military pop tent. You know, they call them the half tents. It's a pop tent. There's two halves. One guy took one half. Your buddy took the other. I bought one of those for about six bucks, and um, used that for the material. And then I hijacked my mother-in-law's sewing machine and uh, stitched it up. Um, you know, it came out okay. I mean, I don't know how to run a sewing machine, but essentially that's the case. You know, it'll wrap up. Um, another little feature I did was in the bottom of the tent along the edge of the canvas there are these um, you know uh, I don't know what they call them but it's the they roll it over and you end up with these little pockets well I cut one the length of a blade and now I can carry a spare blade with two cotter pins taped to it so you can see them so essentially if I break the blade and lose both cotter pins I still have a blade and two cotter pins. So that really gives me better odds. You now, as I said, all I did was at the bottom of the canvas, I just cut, you know, with scissors, and this was a, a natural sleeve that was built into the tent. So that makes a nice little spare blade, you know, and you can bend it around, put it in your hat, whatever you want to do. Um, I'll give a little more detail about the saw. Um, some of the, the other thing I did was, uh, Oh yeah, and then I stitched in some, uh, just stitched in some rawhide, just a loop, so I can tie it shut. But I hit this with linseed oil, and uh, it really, I think it really brought out the grain. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it really, really brings out the grain in that wood. And I just went over the corners with a sander, and took, you know, took the sharp edges off so it's comfortable to hold. But one thing I don't think I pointed out was... When I made it, um, these the reason that folds in like that was because I ripped, if you can see, the uh, inside of this with a table saw, I ripped it up to this height, okay? So I didn't go back through the back of the handle, but I got like a good half an inch of solid wood left. But it's just enough to... You remember I um, may, had to make this a real thin cut to hold the blade, but as you can see, that's much wider. But it gives that blade a place to fold up into. Um, so when you do this, and that was that was achieved simply by you know running the whole thing down the table saw like that. After I did cut my notch for the for the beam right here. And then also, I really didn't mention that this this isn't paracord. Um, this is uh, what they call tech cord, and the difference is it doesn't stretch; it's non-dynamic. And I mean, this stuff has a, a break. It breaks. I don't know, 2,500, 3,000 pounds. It's like six. It's just unbelievable. It's not cheap. It's like a buck a foot. But the beauty of it is it doesn't stretch. So when you crank it up, um, you know, when you crank up the saw it just that just pulls that tight like that in on the beam so you don't have to worry about it stretching and then when I drilled <coughs> you can see I just drilled the holes for that you know as close as I could get to the uh, edge without splitting it um, I don't know if this is any more helps you anymore I was kind of vague um, doing the video because I'm not a video guy obviously I you know pretty clumsy but just trying to point out why it folds up nice and neat and um, you know again I can put it together again like like you need to see that but it goes together really quick and if you're out there and you just gotta cut up some plywood really quick and then uh, catch it like that and you twist it I hope the camera is in the right angle. I'm not really that familiar with it yet. 
twist this up till it's tight. Um, that isn't tight, but you keep going, keep going, and you'll get the feel of it. But it makes out, it makes a certain. That's not tight enough, but you just keep working at it. Um, but if you're doing this, this stuff doesn't stretch. That's when we get a mess of the saw. It works pretty good. So, anyway, I just wanted to kind of do a little update and show you the case and um, whatnot. Put those together real quick. Like that. back in the case so take your spare blade cotter pin I left it in the cardboard just because those teeth snag everything put that like that pull this around do one of these like so then all I do is a passive square knot which is basically that. It holds it. Easy to untie. So that's it. That's the folding brush saw in the case. And I can't wait to go use it. I have used it, but I want to use it on a truck. Camp out. So, anyway, thank you. <clears throat>